prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. Tonight we're here at Lakeshore High for non-district boys soccer action as Fountain Blue travels to take on the Lakeshore Titans. These two teams played earlier in the season uh, back in December. Fountain Blue won that one 7-0, so Lakeshore is looking for redemption. Should have a good one tonight. Let's get to the action. And we are underway. That one kicked off by Vieira. Fountain Blue working the ball forward to Gonzalez and kicked out of bounds by Lakeshore. So like I said, uh, pregame, last time these two played, 7-0 back in December, Fountain Blue victory. Uh, Lakeshore comes into this one tonight, 6-6-2, six, six, but on a three-game winning streak, Fountain Blue comes in 10-5, and five, also on a three-game winning streak, as this one is thrown in from the near sideline. Lakeshore kicking it up as Fountain Blue pressures. Weaving through traffic is Gonzalez. Now Maddox. Over to Chase Holmes. Now Vieira looking to run it down. Cross. And into the arms of Miller. Lakeshore sophomore keeper. This one, Fountain Blue back line, looking to move the ball forward. That one through to Gerstner. Good pass there. Here's an opportunity. Here's Vieira. And they're going to call him offsides. Coach Shad for Fountain Blue telling his team to settle in and calm down. Here's an opportunity for Lakeshore. No. Kicked away by Gerstner. Good defense there. This will be scooped up by the junior keeper for the Bulldogs, Ian Richard. Shot. Way too high. And that one sails long. And this one kept short. The foul called there. That'll be a free kick for the Titans. Me Luke Panky taking this one. Be 
He put a charge into that one. And Richard able to haul it in. Oh, too much on that one. Fountain Blue looking to run it down in the corner. Can they keep it in? Yes. Now the Bulldogs trying to settle this one. And that goes out of bounds. It will be a Bulldog throw in on the far side. And that crosses the face of the goal on the attempt from the Bulldogs. This one worked up and hauled in by the keeper, Nathan Miller. Picked up by Lakeshore. And hauled in by Ian Richard. He throws this one out. Fountain Blue looking to work the ball forward. Back to the Bulldogs. Lakeshore kicking it away. Looking to run it down is uh, Chase Holmes. Kicked up. Good speed running that one down. <clears throat> Here's an opportunity. Weaving through. No, good job. Defense holding for the Titans. And there's a whistle.
Dumped off to Holmes. Oh, looking to link up there. That one, oh, that'll be a throw in in the corner. But deep in Lakeshore territory for a Hayden Maddox. Good throw in, strong throw in there and headed away by the Lakeshore defense. Well done there. Now here's an opportunity. Oh, dumped off. If he had been ready for it, he could have one-timed that in. And that'll be a goal kick for Nathan Miller. Mentioned that Miller, a sophomore, is the starting keeper for uh, Lakeshore. It's a very young team for Coach Kiriakides. Only two seniors on the whole team. Cross, shoo, nearly a shot, just getting past. Oh, and too much put on that one. That one goes sailing over the goal. So it'll be a goal kick for Miller. Now Gonzalez finds an open man, dropped back. This one through. Throw in here from Vieira. Headed right back out by Lakeshore. So now Vieira. See, so it'll be a throw in from Johnson. Strong throw in from Johnson. Oh, punched away by Miller. Now loose ball. Miller able to scoop it up.
And this will be a throw in for the Titans. Uh, Perry Laborde, a freshman on the uh, young Titans squad, throwing in here. Maradiaga to Gonzalez, looking for Vieira. Shot. Oh, knocked away by Miller. Crossed in Lakeshore. Back to Johnson. And a free kick coming from the Titans. Scooped up by Richard. Oh, and they may say uh, incidental contact there. So it'll be a throw in for the Titans. Kicked up. And out of bounds. So this will be a throw in for the Bulldogs. Looking to settle it. Out of bounds. Throw in for the Titans. And that's going to be a corner for the Bulldogs. So here's a good opportunity for the Bulldogs to get on the board. This one popped up. Going long header. Oh, and to the right. Ethan Hansen will take the free kick here for the Titans. Excuse me, the goal kick. And 
And about halfway through uh, the first half here, no score, 0-0. Zero, zero. So as we were saying before, you know, the Titans were looking for redemption as a sliding save there from Miller. Um, looking for redemption after a 7-0 loss in December and right now keeping it 0-0. Zero, zero. The uh, Titans playing very well in this one. Especially that back line. The defense has really been holding. They've been getting a lot of uh, pressure. The keeper, Nathan Miller, has been doing very well here halfway through the first half. He's been getting peppered and just bend but don't break. Don't allow Fountain Blue on the board. Now Lakeshore taking that one. Here's a foot race for it. Good job. Good defense there by the Bulldogs. Strong kick up. Defense holding strong again for the Titans. And hauled in by Miller. Laborde with the throw in. Fountain Blue, let's see, that will be a goal kick from Richard. Picked up by Richard. It's a foot race. 
Mountain Blue looking to settle a shot here. Way too high. Off the mark. We appreciate having those ball retrievers down there, though. Keeps the pacing of the game going. There's always a reserve ball ready next to the goal. Excellent job by those guys. It uh, makes it a better experience, not only for the players down there, because it keeps everything going, but also for everybody viewing the game and, and for me calling it. Um, you know, you're not waiting a minute to go retrieve the ball against the fence line. You have uh, the kids down there running it down and having it ready to go. Throw in here for Lakeshore. Right back out. Caught by one of those retrievers and thrown right back in. That's excellent. About 13 minutes left to play, plus some stoppage time uh, here in the first half. And no score. It's been a defensive battle between these two teams. And a much different game from the one back in December. <laughs> and another goal kick for the Bulldogs. Throw in here for the Titans. <clears throat> yeah, foul there. That's going to be a free kick for the Bulldogs. Puts a charge into it and headed away by the Titans. Thrown in here by the Bulldogs. This one down. And hauled in by Miller. Miller's done an exceptional job this first half. Lakeshore faithful saying all ball on that one. But a free kick from Maddox keeps it short to Holmes.
This one dumped in short on the throw in. Here comes a goal kick from Miller, or from the Titans. Let's see. It'll be, yeah. And a yellow card called on a Titan player, Hansen. So he'll head out and another player will come in. Kicked away. Found Blue keeps it in right at midfield. Kicked up that far sideline. A ricochet there, and Lakeshore is able to kick it away. <laughs> Cleared out. So a throw in coming for the Bulldogs. Maddox will throw in and uh, some subs coming in here. Throw in. And once again, defense holding strong for the Titans. Gonzalez diving for it, and that will be a goal kick. About 5.23 left here in the first half, and maybe a little bit of time added on at the end, but not much. I would say no more than a minute added on. Kicked up by the Titans.
throw in down the far sideline and kicked away by Lakeshore. It's about four minutes to go here before half. Gonzalez and hauled in by Miller. So Miller will punt this one away. Headed down by Fountain Blue. Looking to get a score here before halftime. And that'll go out for another goal kick. Yeah, they missed the handball there. And that'll be hauled in by Richard. This one punted away. We're now the uh, clock stopped at two. And it'll be kept on the field by the officials. Now a shot here from Lakeshore. Oh, and he buries it. My goodness. That's J.P. Furman, one of only two seniors on this Lakeshore squad. J.P. Furman, a four-year uh, varsity team member, puts that one in the back of the net here right before the end of the first half. And Lakeshore is up 1-0. My goodness, what, what a shot. Furman kicks it up. It's taken by Fountain Blue. And Richard will scoop it up. Another goal kick coming from the Titans. There you see the clock stopped at two minutes. This time it's being kept on the pitch. And there is the end of the first half. Lakeshore leading 1-0. Kicking off the second half. Lakeshore up 1-0. It's been a heck of a defensive struggle, save for a uh, J.P. Furman long shot right into the back of the net uh, in stoppage time to end the first half. Uh, other than that, man, it's been it's been bend but don't break on uh, 
mainly mainly for uh, Lakeshore's defense as uh, Fountain Blue spent um, had a majority of the possession time in the first half. But uh, both sides, a defensive struggle, and then Lakeshore able to get down to the other side and Furman buried it right before half. So kicking off the second half, I'm sure we'll see a greater sense of urgency from Fountain Blue to try and get one in the back of the net. Kicked up by Lakeshore. And this will be kept sh well, kept kind of short. Good job cutting that one off by Furman. Now looking to run it down. And will it go out? No, kept in on that far sideline by the Bulldogs. It'll be a corner kick for the Bulldogs. Punch down by Miller, who has done an exceptional job at keeper tonight. And kicked up and away by Lakeshore out of bounds. Getting it out of the danger zone there. And that'll be another throw in for the Bulldogs far sideline. And that'll go out of bounds. Bulldog throw in here near side. Cross. Mm, and just couldn't connect. Looking to run this one down far side. And it'll be a throw in for the Bulldogs. <clears throat> Hit a little bit too far uh, inside on that ball. And it goes out of bounds. Ooh, ricochet there. Stays in Lakeshore possession. Scooped up by Richard.
And that one goes wide right. Dropped back to Melton and scooped up. Strong punt away. And cleared out, but a throw in for the Bulldogs deep in Titan territory. Cross. Oh, too much on it. A little too far under. That one goes over the crossbar. Kicked away by the Titans, right back into Fountain Blue possession. Oh, big collision there. Settle it. Both teams go for a header. And Fountain Blue comes away with it. It's a Merdiago and kicked away. And out of bounds. So a goal kick here for the Bulldogs. Maddox with the throw in and right back out of bounds for another Bulldog throw in. So ten minutes here into the second half and Lakeshore leads 1-0. Mm, here's an opportunity. No. Now Fountain Blue gets it back.
Now throw in from the Titans. Braden Bro, another freshman for the Titans, throwing this one in. Throw in. Kicked up here near sideline, taken by Lakeshore and nobody home. Well, now back into, kicked away by Lakeshore. And that'll be a goal kick. thrown in. Shot. Oh, right into the arms of Miller. Man, the sophomore keeper for the Lakeshore Titans has done an absolutely incredible job tonight. Looking to run this down and cleared by the Bulldogs. Here's Furman 
and taken away by the Bulldogs. So the kick coming here from the Titans. Taken by Melton. And scooped up. They say all ball there, play on. Throw in down near sideline. Kicked up. And it'll be scooped up. And nearly taken away, but knocked out of bounds by Melton. So throw in for the Bulldogs for midfield. Oh, being backed up a little bit. Throw in here. And this will be a throw in for the Titans here near sideline. Now the 60th minute here, 20 left to go. Lakeshore leading 1-0. This was a, a scheduled home game for Fountain Blue. But being played here at Lakeshore, that's why if uh, we see the scoreboard again once uh, we come back over to the Fountain Blue side, um, you'll see that the one is under the visitor as opposed to under home uh, when Lakeshore is up 1-0. And a drop ball after the uh, injury stoppage there. High punt from Miller.
Kick through. This one kicked away. Fountain Blue setting up. Looking to keep it in. It's kept in. And, well, they say out. Either way, into the hands of uh, Miller. And it'll be a goal kick for the Titans. Maddox with the throw in. And nobody really around, so Lakeshore able to get a hold of it and kick it away. Punt it away. And there's a foul called. Kicked away. That should be a corner. Yeah, corner kick. As it was reached, uh, reached for there, touched and falls out of bounds. So Cocano, another freshman. Stop me if I've said this before. We'll take the corner here for the Titans. Header away. Oh, deflected by the Bulldogs. Turning, looking across. 
sends it deflected by the Titans. And that's deflected off the crossbar. So it'll be a goal kick here from the Titans. Kicked away. Out of bounds. Let's see who. It'll be a throw in for the Titans, but you see the sense of urgency from the Bulldogs as they retrieve the ball and quickly get it back to Lakeshore because they're trailing 1-0 with under 12 to play here in the match. Pass here. See? Deflected. Goal kick coming here from the Titans. Oh, that's going to be a throw in for the Bulldogs. Trying to usher it out and then hitting it with his heel right at the end there. Strong throw in and headed away. There was nobody waiting, uh, waiting where the ball was. And now here's a strong run from the Titans. Furman looking to take it coast to coast and deflected. And there's a foul. And we're going to step away for the injury timeout. And a free kick here from the tight. Oh, my goodness. He just he put everything he had into that one. <laughs> um, a free kick from the Titans went long. So now a goal kick here from the Bulldogs. And ushered out, and it'll be a throw in for the Titans. I think. Okay, subs coming in. Gabe Naholia checks in. Another freshman for Coach Kyriakides.
Kicked up from Vieira. Here's an opportunity. Vieira on the run. Pushed a little there. <clears throat> Takes the shot. And it goes over the goal. Seventy third minute. Kicked away by the Titans. Deflected. On the run here, an opportunity for the bull. Oh, my goodness. Buried in the back of the net. That was a beauty. George Gonzalez. Uh, his 11th goal of the season. And it's tied up 1-1 with under six to play here in the match. And now an even greater sense of urgency from the Bulldogs because they want to score with this five and a half to go and take a win rather than a tie. On the other side, you're seeing it from Lakeshore as well, and there's a foul. Throw in here from the Titans. Kicked out another throw in for the Titans. Bro with the throw in. Kicked up by Thomas. Now a shot. And hauled in. High punt. Through, scooped up. Cross, hauled in by Miller. And a free kick here from the Titans. Yeah. 
kicked up and out of bounds. This will be a throw in for the Bulldogs as the uh, clock is now stopped on the scoreboard and time is being kept on the pitch. <clears throat> and a foul called. And here's a heck of an opportunity for Fountain Blue. They're pretty close in. One of these guys could put a charge into it. And either bury it or put their team in a good position to bury it off a ricochet. It'll be Gavin Lee taking this one. Sophomore with nine goals on the season. Puts a charge into it and way too much as it goes sailing over the net. <laughs> Here comes a goal kick. So this one run down, it'll be a throw in. Fountain Blue here, looking to bring it back inside. Oh, here's an opportunity. Oh my goodness, it's buried. And Fountain Blue has taken the lead in stoppage time, the goal from Cordez. That's Cordez's first goal of the season. And it puts Fountain Blue up 2-1 here in stoppage time. be hauled in by the keeper and we have to be pretty close to a whistle here to signal the end of the match that was that goal was very late in stoppage time Fountain Blue. This will be a throw in. And there it is. Fountain Blue wins it 2-1. Let's send our thank yous to those who helped bring you this match, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Frank Javia, director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, cameraman, editor, and coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams, so from Lakeshore, where the Fountain Blue Bulldogs defeat Lakeshore 2-1, my name is Grant Yenny. Good night. <laughs>